The elements of a non-compete usually have to do with a restricted activity that is held and described, and it could be midwifery services or it could be any OBGYN services, et cetera, for a period of time for a geographic distance. So really there's three elements that, that, that are most important in looking at a non-compete, and those are the main three. And when we talked about the court tailoring these uh, these aspects, they could tailor e any one of the three or all three, but you could see how you'd have a very different answer just by changing perhaps the idea that a midwife can't practice midwifery within the same general community, but may be able to be a labor and delivery nurse for a period of two years, and, and a court may think that that is not overly onerous. They can still apply their skill set, they just don't get to work at the level of professional uh, expertise that they did before for that period of time. The first thing you should do is get counsel and have that local attorney review the non-compete and possibly have do a review, legal research on what's happening uh, in within the state mostly, but it could even be considered locally, what, what may happen in court to get a prediction and to help channel some of those conversations. Then the next thing would probably be to try to figure out how to negotiate the non-compete and, and that would be a matter of trying to think of a way in which you can present a win-win for the employer uh, on what, what the circumstances would be. Often when you're considering leaving an employment there's, there's an, there are a number of issues at bay and those may include some things that the employer is fairly concerned about. Um, I would look to, to how that is going to be litigated because in some contracts they're, they're, they're mandated to have closed arbitration, in other contracts there's no specific role and so the, the, the employer may have an interest in not having a public litigation and they didn't remove that from the, from, from the plate of choices and so you know the idea that there could be um, litigation about that. You could start some of that litigation and, and of course you're going to be not going to be employed very long if you do that, but you could be the one that starts the ball rolling to say I think that the non-compete is onerous or something along those lines. But negotiations could include any, uh, all kinds of factors, even buying the non-compete out. Some contracts have provisions that say if you don't like this non-compete at the close of this employment relationship you can pay us a certain amount of money. Often it's a ridiculous amount of money. <laughs> but those would be the sort of things that I would immediately think of with the, probably the largest one of being prepared and understanding the nature of that non-compete and how it may be enforced through asking local counsel and then the next is how to prepare for and have a good interest-based negotiation around the idea of why it might benefit both sides to release someone from the non-compete. This would be really helpful at, the, at that point to know what you're going to do you battling against just sort of this general idea that you're wanting to stay in the community and work you might have some advantages because then you can have discussions about doing slightly different work or you may have a specific job someone leaving let's say a standard practice medical practice and moving into something like an academic role um, and that may be seen as, as a violation of the non-compete because somebody's teaching and practicing perhaps just around the corner or down the street, but it also may be seen as in something that's advantageous to the practice itself. So there could be very, you know, a wide variety of ways in which you might want to um, see some advantages for both sides and just don't assume that the non-compete is going to be enforced. I suppose the last thing I would be thinking about would be if the entity you're working for is in serious trouble as meaning economic survival. Uh, they would have very little interest if they're about to go bankrupt and no longer practice themselves. Um, and that would be another reason why non-compete, the flip side of non-compete is the entity you're working for isn't competing with anybody.